Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. I would like to demonstrate the grinding and polishing of a long pin facing. You've roughly ground this pin facing to determine the position of your margins on your study model. However, when you take this pin facing now to your working model with your silver dies, you may find that the facing does not fit on the ridge quite the same as it did on your study model. So there may be some minor adjustments that uh, have to uh, be made on this model. And this is done in the same manner. You put some graphite pencil lead on the ridge and do the necessary minor adjustments so that this does then fit the same as it did on your stone model. You may find also that there may be some adjustments to be made on either the mesial or distal contact. When this meets your satisfaction, then this is removed and all the ground surfaces then should be highly polished. The first step in this is to use the sand disc series that we described and we were showing you how to grind the facing in fine emery, and then medium sand, fine sand, and then finally the cuddle discs are used to remove all the scratches and roughnesses from this facing, from the surfaces that we have ground with our Dedeco porcelain grinding wheel. And go over all these surfaces to remove the scratches. If the scratches and roughnesses are not removed sufficiently, and then we go to our rag wheel for polishing, you'll find that you'll only polish the roughnesses and make a very irregular looking rough facing that doesn't look very natural in the oral environment. So it's very, very important before you use the rag wheel to get all the scratches out. Now this surface, the undersurface that touches the ridge is most critical because this is the surface that is very difficult for the patient to clean and it's a, an area where plaque likes to collect. So you want to make sure that this is highly polished and very well glazed. You may find also that the edge of the facing where you have ground at the end of the ridge lap here may be kind of sharp and if it is I would take this sand disc and round that slightly so that is not too sharp. When this is as shiny as you can get it with uh, these cuddle discs, then we will go to a Kratex or a Dedeco rubber wheel and continue the polishing on the undersurface, trying not to obliterate our bevels and finishing lines. If you do over polish these areas, you can, before you wax, you can redefine them because they will be under the gold and you go over the same surfaces again with this rubber wheel making sure that there are no rough irregular areas left. Now it is possible to characterize this surface a bit and you can make horizontal or vertical lines in the surface of the facing by using a diamond and then polishing them so that there is a subtle memory of these particular lines either horizontal or vertical in the facing and then they can be polished to give you some characterization. When this is polished as highly as you can get it with the rubber wheel then we are ready to go to the rag wheels and the polishing materials on a lathe. There are two stages in polishing the facing on a lathe. The first stage is using a material such as fine pumice or triple X silex and that is used with a regular rag wheel. And the second stage after you have polished that as highly as you can with that material is to use then levigated alumina and this is used for grinding and polishing lenses 
And with this material, we will use a different kind of wheel. It is a non-stitched rag wheel made by Dixon and is lead-centered. The particular rag wheel here is very, very soft, and the non-stitching will give you a very, very uh, high glaze and a high polish. It's a good idea to mix these materials and put them in little glass jars like we have here. You can uh, use baby food jars, for example, and mix the material with water and leave this in your lab bench, and then you'll always have it ready for polishing when you need it. Now I'd like to take you to the lathe and show you how the f facing is then polished using the rag wheels. It's a good idea to line the tray but next to the lathe with the paper because if the pin facing should slip out of your hand while you're polishing it and it hits the hard pan, it can fracture the pin facing. So take this regular paper toweling material and line the, the tray with it so in case it does fly, it won't break. We will first polish this using triple X Silex. And we use a wet, a wet uh, rag wheel. And after the initial water has come off of that, we place a little bit of triple X Silex on a finger. And then hold the pin facing between your thumb and your forefinger. And you polish And as soon as that abrasive is left, then you add more. And you keep on adding fresh triple X silex to this. And get this light on, you might be able to see a little better. And then you rub the abrasive off and check to see what kind of a polish you're getting. And you keep on adding fresh abrasive. Keep on doing this until you have a very high polish. It won't be as good as the glaze on the, the original glaze on the facing until you use the levigated alumina, but it'll approach that. Now, polishing this ridge area, the best way to do that is to take the pins and put them under your thumbnail. And that will give you a good grasp of this delicate pin facing. Place the triple X silex on the saddle area and then bury that saddle area into the rag wheel. And notice I have the pins stuck under my fingernail. That gives you a good grasp. And then you add a little bit of abrasive material and either run it on the edge keeping it moving, or you can take the saddle area and push it in, separating the wag wheel and making almost a V and getting that under portion highly polished so there are no scratches or irregularities remaining. Then the next step is to wash this off and then place the unstitched, lead-centered uh, rag wheel on the lathe. I'll wash that in a little bit of water. Hold your hand in front of it so that the water doesn't go all over the lab. And this is handled in the same way. We add the abrasive material onto the facing and we'll polish the labial surface first. Holding it by the pins themselves. Keep this moving. It should be going at high speed. And when we polish the undersurface, again, we hold the pin facing with the, the two pins under your thumbnail. 
placed the levigated alumina on this and polished so. Now I'd like to wash this off and show you the type of glaze that can be obtained with this type of polishing. We have the original facing with the glaze untouched on this side of the card. And adjacent to it, we have our customized facing that we have polished with the triple X silex and the levigated alumina. And you'll notice that we have restored the high shine and the glaze uh, to this customized facing. From this view, you can see the untouched facing and the mold number on the surgical portion and then the customized facing with the bevels still preserved on the cervical, mesial, and distal and then the highly polished ridge lap that has been custom ground for our particular ridge. Once this has been done properly then we can proceed to the waxing of the pontic. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.